Can a vegan cocktail foamer really give the same result as an egg white? Let's find out. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, we're gonna be trying out a vegan cocktail foamer this week in a classic whiskey cocktail, the Whiskey Sour. I feel this is a great cocktail to try this out because it's one of those classic, simple cocktails that should have a consistent result no matter where you go because it's one of the kind of basic types of cocktail. It uses whiskey, obviously, it uses lemon juice, it uses sugar syrup, and usually it uses an egg white. Now, I've here got an egg white, but I've also got fee foam. Fee foam, it's something I've used a couple times on the channel. It's something that will create a foamy head on a cocktail, but it's vegan. It is, well, just not made with eggs. It's made with some kind of chemicals and some other kind of citric acids that will give you the foamy head on top of a cocktail when you shake it, but it won't use an egg white. This means if you want to add a foamy head to any kind of cocktail you want, you can use fee foam, especially if it's something that maybe wouldn't work well with an egg white because an egg white does change the flavor of a cocktail. It does change the texture of a cocktail and because you're adding extra liquid, it's gonna end up diluting some of the flavors in your cocktail. So for some drinks, I will use fee foam when I want to have a bit of a foamy head for a bit of a presentation, but with a whiskey sour, Traditionally, you always do use an egg white. And that's why I'm using the classic whiskey sour as my base recipe. And I'm gonna keep very, very basic for my whiskey sour. Now, the essential ingredients for a whiskey sour is that it's two parts spirit, one part lemon juice, and one part sugar syrup. So that's the only what I'm going to be using in my cocktail. I'm not gonna be using any extra bitters. I'm not gonna be using anything like that that might change the flavor. It's just gonna be the exact same ingredients that goes into the cocktail with the one exception being one will have an egg white and one's gonna have a few dashes of fee foam. So for my whiskey, I'm using Rowan Co. Classic, kind of very good, simple cocktail whiskey. Gives it a nice bit of flavor, has a nice bit of weight because it comes in at 45% ABV. So it's gonna deliver a lot of flavor and it should be quite consistent across both cocktails. I'm using freshly squeezed lemon juice and some just plain old simple syrup to get this going. So let's stop talking about the experiment and let's get to making it. We're gonna start off with the egg white whiskey sour. So let's get our shaker tin and we're gonna get a nice rock of ice and we're gonna pop that in there. And we're just gonna start off with our ingredients. We're gonna go in with two ounces or 60 ml of our Rowan Co whiskey. Now this is a very good classic Irish cocktail whiskey. It's sweet, has a nice bit of weight, like I said, and just delivers a very good profile into a cocktail. We're then gonna go in with one ounce or 30 ml of our freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're just gonna go right in there. And lastly, we're gonna go in with one ounce again or 30 ml of our sugar syrup. Then we're gonna go in with our egg white. Now I have already pre-separated out my egg white from my egg yolk, so I can just pour that right in there and we're gonna shake it up and to be very consistent, I'm gonna shake this 50 times and I'm gonna shake the other cocktail 50 times. So let's shake it up. Okay, that is nicely chilled as I can see from the outside of my cocktail shaker. So I'm gonna get ready to strain this out into a coupe glass. We're just gonna go straight up into our coupe glass and then I'm gonna wash these two tins out and I'm gonna make my next cocktail. Now the only difference with the next cocktail is Instead of using an egg white, I'm gonna be using three dashes of fee foam. And thanks to Movie Magic, I've now got a fresh, clean set of tins, so let's cut to a high-speed montage of me making the next cocktail. Oh yes, just look at that. Now it will be a smaller cocktail because of course, we don't have that egg white in there, which is gonna give us a little bit of extra volume in the first cocktail we made. But I can see already that it does have a very nice, very thick foam head on the top of the cocktail. So we're gonna let them settle for a second and then we're gonna taste them. Okay, they both look about as settled as they're gonna get. So we're gonna start off with the first cocktail we made, which is the whiskey sour with the egg white. Slaunch it. Okay, it's a good whiskey sour. I mean, I know it's a good whiskey sour. I used good ingredients, but let's quickly taste the one made of fee foam. Okay, definitely a difference. Definitely quite a big difference. So like I said, the one made with egg white, it's gonna have a softer kind of flavor to it because you are adding an extra like ounce, an extra 30 ml of egg white into your cocktail. So every sip you have is gonna be made up of whiskey, lemon juice, sugar syrup, and egg white. 
whereas the one with fee foam is gonna be made up of pretty much just whiskey, sugar, and the uh, lemon juice. This means that the cocktail is a little bit more diluted, but there's also gonna be more water in the cocktail because the ice cube has to melt more in order to chill down that extra liquid we've added. So it definitely is a softer flavor to the whiskey sour with the egg white, but it also has a very rich texture, kind of a creaminess to it, which I'm gonna try out again, see if I can describe it a little bit better. Yeah, that is pretty, it's a pretty good cocktail. I mean, it's definitely no getting around. If you use good ingredients, you're gonna get a good cocktail at the end of the day, but it doesn't have the same creaminess that this does. Yeah, the cocktail just has this kind of silkier kind of texture, just that rounds it out a little bit more than you do get with the fee foam. Now, if you look at them, you'll see the foam is staying pretty well, and I've used fee foam a good few times before. The foam does stay around for a good while. It's not as thick, it's not as kind of consistent as the same kind of foam you get with the egg white, but it does work in a pinch, and especially if you are a vegan, if you are a vegetarian, if you just don't want to use egg white, if you just want to have something that you can have on your shelf, and just reach for it whenever you want, this is a pretty good alternative. I mean, this bottle here says it's best before July 2032, which means this is gonna be shelf stable on your shelf for a very long time. Whereas egg whites, you do need to use them when they're fresh, they do go off. It is a little bit more hassly to crack the egg, separate out the yolk. So if you just wanna whip up something quick, the fee foam, I can definitely see it being a good option. Also, I have seen online, some people say that the fee foam adds this kind of soapy flavor adds a kind of a bad taste to the cocktail. And I'm not getting that at all. I mean, you're only using at the end of the day, like three dashes of this. You're only using a very small amount compared to the whiskey, the lemon juice, the sugar syrup you added. You're adding so little of the fee foam. I'm not really getting any flavor. If some people are very sensitive to taste, they might be able to taste it or it might be all in their head. Whereas the lemon juice, the sugar syrup, the whiskey, for me at least, it completely overpowers any taste from the fee foam. If anything, the taste is more noticeable with this one, with the egg white one. You can definitely get that kind of egg white texture. Now, I'm not usually a person who drinks egg white, so I don't really know what egg whites taste like, but from drinking enough whiskey sours, I can get an idea of what they taste like. And in fact, to just do a quick little test, I'm gonna taste what fee foam actually tastes like. So, a couple of drops. Yeah, it just tastes like water, a little bit cardboardy, a little bit kind of stale. It doesn't taste sour or bitter or anything really strong that would counteract the flavors you're getting from the whiskey. So I think if people are saying they can taste it, either they've got very, very sensitive taste buds or they might be making it up. For me, if I was gonna come down and say which one I prefer, I think I do prefer the classic style with the egg white. Has a bit softer, has a bit rounder, kind of richer texture. This one, because it's doesn't have that egg white kind of extra diluting it down. It is a little bit more bitter, is a little bit more tart as you'd expect because in every sip you're getting more lemon juice, you're getting more whiskey, you're getting more sugar. So it does have that stronger flavor. I know for a few cocktails I've made where I wanted to have like a foamy daiquiri or a, a foamy cocktail where I want the strong taste of the cocktail but I want the presentation with a bit of foam. Definitely the fee foam I've used before to great effect but for a whiskey sour, I think my vote has to go for the classic with the egg white. What do you think? Have you tried the cocktail foamers like this before? Do you think they can stand up to an egg white? Or do you think you found one that is better than an egg white? Make sure to let me know down in the comments below. If you're new here, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I put out cocktail recipes on Fridays. I put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays. And sometimes I put out videos like this on Mondays. So if you want to see more like that, make sure you hit subscribe. And I will see you next time. Sláinte.